okay, growing up, you're a young bloke, you always think, oh, you know, one day I'm going to get married. It'll probably be a girl from the meeting because that's the only girls you ever know. <laughs> and as you slowly grow a little bit older, you think, oh, well, there's other meetings around or maybe I can, might be able to marry a girl from another state or go out with a girl from you know, South, South Australia when you live in Queensland. It's a bit far away, but gee, I wouldn't really enjoy it. It's a bit far away. <laughs> bit of an effort to uh, get to know them and if they want to see their family, well, gee, that'd be a pain. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, anyway, yeah, Mel comes to Australia and uh, when I went over to Mum and Dad's, um, we actually got a sneak photo of what she was going to look like. Well, I heard that there was a 27-year-old, you're 26, and I always think you're one older than you are. <laughs> Um, I thought, well, what have we got, what have, what have we got here? She's, she's 26, single, mm, getting away from the country, and yeah, maybe, maybe not the best, not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> too, too easy on the old retina. But, um, yeah, saw this phone, I thought, oh boy, gee, Anyway, so I went around to my dad's, because she was staying there, and, uh, as soon as I lay eyes on her, took the brain out of my head, threw it out the window, and that was it. Um, no problem, I'll have a relationship with the girl that has come from overseas and I'll go and see her family and whatnot. Uh, just, just by one look at her. Um, and of course I got to know you. You've got a lovely heart. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'd like to thank all you English people uh, for letting this uh, beautiful, wonderful girl um, in heart and everything um, come to Australia and yeah, hang around with me. Um, just she's, you're losing something big, and I know that. Um, but yeah, we've and I've gained something uh, really wonderful and special. I'm very thankful for that. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote this this morning on the back of a wedding card that came early. Not on the toilet roll, mate? Um, to Mel, no. To Mel's large family, um, as far as the lightning is from the east to the west and the north to the south, is about the size of her family. Um, uh, but everyone, every single person there has been so wel welcoming and even Asa, the big brother, he was, he was an absolute push-over. Like, oh. <laughs> I was thinking he might be a little bit hard because you've got a 